In this video, as you probably already have seen, I will be painting a McLaren P1 with a sunset. I always start with the sky, and this painting is no exception. The first thing I do is blocking in the color of the sun, which is light pink. After that, I start blocking in the colors of the clouds closest to the horizon with orange, red, and a dark reddish brown. Then I started to paint the sky around the sun, starting just above the clouds on the horizon with a desaturated orange. And I used a more sandstone color to block in the sky above the sun. I continue to block in the colors of the clouds on the horizon to the left of the sun. And I blocked in more shapes of clouds above that with light yellow, orange, red and a dark brown. After that I painted the transition color between the orange sky around the sun and the blue part of the sky with a reddish grey color. Then I used the bluish grey to further work on the transition in the sky. Then I started blocking in the color of the sky on the horizon on the other side of the car using some dark orangey brown colors. After that I started blocking in the biggest part of the sky with a darker desaturated blue color and filling in every white bit at the top of the painting. Then I started roughly blending it into the lower part of the sky with a lighter desaturated blue color. Here I decided to paint the clouds on the horizon which I had forgotten to paint. And I tried blending in a lighter color above them. Then I started blending the sky with a 2 inch flat brush to make the transition a bit smoother. After that I started painting the ocean. I started with the part closest to the sun Painting the orange discoloration of the ocean with some of the same colors as I used in the sky, starting with light yellow and orange. I also used some desaturated blues with varying light levels to paint the remaining of the ocean on the left side. Then I added some waves with black, and now I'm working on the shallow part of the ocean, which is way more even so it reflects more of the sun's light. I started with a sandstone color and blended some desaturated orange into it. And next to that I blended some grey and desaturated blue. Then I started working on the wet sand on the beach, which is very reflective too. I painted the light pink of the lightest reflection first and blended that with some orange and red. After that I started working on the ocean on the other side of the car. I firstly painted it all dark blue and then I made some variations in light, with lighter blue and black. When the ocean was all colored, I started working on the beach. I again started with the lightest part, which I painted orange. Then I added some brown and blended it into a very dark grey color, with which I painted the rest of the left half of the beach. I then used a darker version of that same color to paint the right part of the beach. After the first layer of the background had dried, I started the second layer, as the first layer was far from perfect. I started with the sky around the sun and above the lower clouds, as the sky was way more orange there than I had previously painted it. I also raised the blue part of the sky further to the top. Then I repainted the whole top part of the sky with a variety of desaturated blues and greens. After that I blended everything together as well as I could with a small brush around the sun and with a bigger brush for the rest of the sky. Once most of that was done, I found that the top of the sky was too light so I added some darker blue there. And I again started blending the color into the other colors. The sky didn't have to look perfect as there will be many clouds covering a lot of it. So once I was satisfied with how the sky looked, I started working on the clouds, starting with the clouds to the left of the sun. I firstly painted the outline of the parts where the sunlight would hit the cloud with a very light yellow. After that I used some orange and red to paint the darker parts of the clouds that aren't directly hit by the sunlight on the bottom left cloud. When that was done, I did the same to the cloud above. I started with blending orange into the light yellow border, and then I did the same with red and a reddish brown. Once that was done, I accentuated the light yellow parts again to make them stand out. And I added some new clouds with a sandstone color. And for that I used a small but very stiff and rough brush so that I could easily press the paint into the grain of the paper and be very precise but organic with the placement of the paint. I also used some orange and very dark brown to paint the clouds that were to the top and to the right of the painting. Once I had painted all the clouds, I started blending with a bigger dry brush so that the edges would look a bit softer. I also occasionally used my finger for that. Once that was done, I did some more work on the lower clouds just above the horizon. With the same colors I used before, I started to make them look more like clouds. I also gave the clouds closest to the sun a light yellow outline and the clouds further away a more orangey outline. 
After the sky was fully done, I started working on the ocean again. I began with repainting the orange part and blending that a bit more. I also added some bright red next to the orange and blended that as well. After that, I started painting the waves with orange and some white. I ended up using some greys, blues and reds too. And I did this for the lower part of the ocean too. Once the ocean looked good enough, I started working on the ground. I again started with the orange and blended that into a reddish brown. And I blended a blue grey into the reddish brown. I repainted the rest of the ground with a blue grey colour and darkened it to paint the right side. Now it's finally time to paint the car. I started off with painting most of the fully black parts, which include the tires, some parts of the side of the car, most of the back and the wing. I also used some blue grey that I used for the ground to paint a bit of the rear bumper. After that I started painting the black paint of the car, which reflects a lot of colours from the sky. I started with the left side and worked my way around the car. I used a darker sandstone colour, some green greys, dark blue and black. It definitely doesn't look good yet, but it's a start. Once the first layer had dried, I repainted the whole bodywork. I firstly started with the side of the car and adjusting the reflection of the sky. Once that was all done, I started working on the roof of the car. I started by darkening it and blending it into a warm grey. I also painted the roof scoop. Then I worked my way down to the rear window and the area below the wing. After that I colored in the rear lights and I started with the wheels by painting the black parts. Then I roughly blocked in the colors of the spokes and the brake calipers. Once the wheels were dry, I painted them with more precision. I used a very small liner brush to paint the spokes and the rim. I also painted the brake calipers with orange. I did the same thing for the other wheel. Once the wheels were done, I started working on the rear of the car. I started with the cylinders that raised the ring. I painted the shadow parts very dark and added white reflections to the parts facing the sun. I also added some light reflections to the rest of the rear of the car. And I added all the details like rear reflectors, the parts of the lift system of the wing that you can see through the rear and the exhaust. I then started working on the diffuser, making the outline look good and added some reflections to it. I then proceeded to work more on the rear lights. As the rear lights were illuminated, they radiate a light yellow light. So that's what I painted and I tried to make it look like dozens of little lights close to each other. Once that was done, I added some white reflections to the side of the car. And I finally painted a few through the side window. I started with the dark blue color of the ocean and I then painted the reddish color of the clouds above it. And lastly, I painted the ground just below the front splitter. And now the painting is finally fully done. It definitely didn't always go well, but it looks good in the end and I'm happy with how it turned out. Thank you for watching and make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.